Capecast. So Dave, we've been getting a lot of reports about winter moths. What can you tell us about these fluttery nuisances? Well, this is the time of year the winter moth and the fall canker worm are out in abundance. Believe it or not, they're mating. They're searching for females. The females are wingless or they have very abbreviated wings. And they're sending out a chemical known as a sex pheromone. Dear calling me. the males and the males are fluttering around going hey where are you where are you where are you? you can see these little females on your decks and houses and once they mate they will either crawl up into trees and lay their eggs or they'll lay their eggs right on your shingles right on your deck and then in the spring the tiny caterpillars hatch out from those eggs and start to devour our leaves now we are in the winter moth war room with Dave Simser. And Dave, what do you have in there? Well, I managed to find two female winter moths. And you see the head is right here, and the head is right here. But pay it, look at the little tiny wings that they have. So this means they're flightless, they're flightless females. So as a caterpillar, they all look alike pretty much. But the females are flightless, and the males are the guys that we see flying around the roads. And the males are pretty expendable, eh? Well, we all are. All males are. Dun, 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 dun. Winter moth. Winter moth. Not a ringlet at night. Out on the porch. Looking to meet your lady friend. And so is every other guy you know. Now, are these winter moths relatively new to the Cape, or have they always been around? No, they've been here for, call it 10 years. Deb Swanson from Plymouth County first noticed them. They actually, um, on this continent, are found in Nova Scotia and British Columbia. They're a European species, and for some reason they've made their way down here hitchhiking on whatever, and they've set up shop in Massachusetts, and they're here up and down the coast feeding on many different trees, but primarily maples. Now Dave, you're a guy who seems to like bugs. You sing the praises of bugs of all sorts. You have a tick on your hat as we speak. Do we have anything we can like about these winter moths? Well, their tenacity, of course, or their ability to mate in the most uh, arduous of conditions here in the winter. These guys wait around, and it's so important for them that they'll, they'll mate on a cold, wintry night such as tonight. And that is admirable. Cape Cast.